Hi, this is Farhan and welcome back to another video. There is one word which is echoing in every single XRP investor's mind and that is a settlement. In fact, we have been hearing about settlement for a very, very long time since this lawsuit was filed back in December of last year. And only a month or so after that, we got to know uh, the official details directly from Ripple themselves that they did talk about a settlement but unfortunately they were not able to come to the terms and conditions which the SEC was putting Ripple was not able to come to those terms that is why the settlement could not go forward and this was something I'm pretty sure it would have made a lot of XRP investors happy at that time because that would have meant that the lawsuit would have ended and things would have gone back to normal and at that point the bull market the alt season was just starting for a lot of altcoins out there and even though XRP was going through this lawsuit, the price of XRP touched almost $2, which is almost unheard of if a company is going through a lawsuit. But again, we saw some absolutely crazy growth for XRP during that time. But even now, if you're comparing it to at the start of this year, we're still up by more than 250%, which is still crazy considering that this lawsuit is going forward. It seems that things are now starting to intensify. The talk of a settlement is intensifying and there are a couple of reasons for this which I will be talking about in today's video. And there are some other really really interesting information and I'm pretty sure you would want to stick with me until the end. But before going to those details, let's take a quick look at the price of XRP. Well, things are looking pretty okay for the world of crypto, especially for XRP. Now, even though Bitcoin was not able to sustain that $40,000 and at the time it is trading at around $39,000, a decrease of 2%. But if you look at XRP, XRP is up above 2% compared to yesterday and an increase of 21% compared to one week ago. So this is a lot of people are saying that hey this is the reason why we are seeing this for the price of xrp why it is not really going down you remember that a lot of cryptos out there they are very correlated to bitcoin price so if bitcoin goes down altcoins drop even further so seeing that bitcoin is going down but the price of xrp is sustaining which is some form of uh, people are saying that hey this might be uh, related to the talks of a settlement now if you're talking about the weekly chart here uh, for xrp you can see that it is going on an upwards trajectory and we have been seeing that especially in the last couple of days things have been looking very good for xrp and if you're talking about the daily chart here the summary it is at a strong buy this is definitely really good news because for a very long time uh, for the daily chart the summary was either at a strong sell or buy but not at a strong buy and also the rsi has a shifted to a buy position so definitely good and if you're talking about the weekly chart here the summary it is at a neutral point moving average by technical indicators at a strong sell and the rsi it is at a neutral position and finally talking about the monthly chart here well the summary it has shifted to a strong buy for a very long time it was at a neutral point but now it has shifted to a strong buy and also rsi it is at a neutral point so this is definitely good all the the charts and the technical indicators and moving averages are looking really good for xrp and only time is going to tell what we are going to see uh, forward and if these uh, talks of a uh, settlement they are fruitful you can expect for sure that the green candle it is going to go higher and higher now let's talk about why is there such a buzz going on around the talk of a settlement in fact we have been hearing settlement for quite some time but only in the last couple of days or so we are really picking up this steam on that there is a very high chance that we might see a settlement in this ongoing lawsuit see the thing this started back in the mid of july when we got these really important statements coming from the sec commissioners themselves two commissioners out of the five they publicly went and said that hey there is not enough uh, clarity for digital assets and it is very hard for a lot of market participants to decide you know the most important thing and that is whether it is uh, secure whether these digital assets are securities or not it becomes really difficult so this is what you know, ripple really took out of that and put in went in front of the judge and said that hey please consider this uh, as evidence as they put it here nevertheless to ensure that the record on motion to strike is complete and do keep in mind that the motion to strike this is extremely extremely important uh, Ripple respectfully requests that the court consider the two commissioners statement to the court in support of Ripple's fair notice defense and the fair notice defense is that smoking gun which Ripple is uh, presenting here because they did not have even the SEC didn't sell, uh, uh, themselves they did not know exactly what these digital trading assets were how can they expect Ripple to know. 
and with that a lot of people are saying that hey this is such a huge thing that SEC might be forced to uh, reconsider some of the, the conditions for a settlement and now moving after that what happened was this week uh, at the start of this week we uh, we expected William Hinman a former finance director of the SEC to go into position because the judge ordered him to do so but now in the official transcripts we are not seeing anything regarding hey if the deposition uh, it actually went ahead or not in fact this was further amplified by a video which um, attorney Jeremy Hogan who's also a fellow youtuber he posted saying that he speculates that this entire deposition did not actually go through because the talks of the settlement are really going forward and do keep in mind that the SSC really really does not want uh, Ripple uh, to depose William Hinman they have their own reasons as well but him saying that hey oh, the deposition did not go through and also in the last couple of weeks we got this extremely important statements from the SEC commissioners themselves this has fueled such a huge talk of a segment that it is even impacting the price this is why you're seeing that the price of XRP it has increased quite a lot and in the past week or so the price of XRP has increased by more than 20 percent so this are some of the reasons why now do keep in mind that we also have to look at the other side of this story now even though the the talk of a settlement and the probability of a settlement it might have increased if you're looking at it through a positive side but there is still a chance and obviously there's a very high chance that the settlement might not actually even come through in fact james kiflin who is a, a defense lawyer and a former federal prosecutor he in a bunch of tweets he basically said that no we are not going to be getting a settlement anytime soon he puts it when a party focuses on hurting the other side they lose focus on winning for themselves this case is about winning and making the whole crypto space succeed if the SEC or anyone else gets hurt in the process they brought it on themselves but that's not the goal the goal is to clean this mess up and move forward so I don't think a settlement is coming anytime soon this is a war and I think we should settle in for the long haul and now it's not a matter of who is right or who is wrong and both of these attorneys they are giving their own opinions here now i would not go ahead and just put all my life savings in xrp because we are going to get a settlement very very soon but again this is something very important to consider and this is the part of your uh, due diligence part of your research if you are thinking about investing in xrp or any other crypto out there and also the most the golden mantra of crypto investing don't invest what you can afford to lose only invest what you can afford to lose so it is very very important so also just talking about the settlement here in my personal opinion yes we might the the chance of a settlement it has increase considerably but in the next week or so if we get this uh, deposition of William Hinman if it's officially in this uh, court uh, documents then you then we can say that okay we did not get a settlement we are not getting a settlement anytime soon but if we don't get those uh, details the William Hinman deposition details that means the chance of a settlement it is a very very high well, guys that was the video for today uh, I would love to know what are your thoughts do you guys think that we are going to see a settlement if yes do drop a comment below if no let me know why you think that we are not going to be seeing a settlement anytime soon I would love to know your thoughts and if you're new to my channel consider subscribing and giving this video a like so the youtube algorithm recommends you my videos in the future and yeah don't forget to turn on that bell icon and as always thank you for watching this and i will see you next time